Hi there, I'm Jason Crump from Vantage Twin Photography, and today we're going to be shooting in the studio with the iShoot Sniper Transceiver. We have Ashley set up back here, and we're going to get shooting using a 28-inch uh, Apollo softbox as the main, and then a 20-degree grid on the back for a little kicker light. So let's get shooting. Okay, so we just finished up our shoot using the iShoot Sniper Transceiver, so I thought we'd take a closer look at it. Out of the box here, it only comes with the transceiver and a shoe. If you look at the top of the transceiver, you have an articulating antenna, 16 channel selector right here. There's your test button. On the side, you can control your studio strobes or your camera, remote shutter release with the button right there. Underneath that, you have your receiver, off or transmitter mode. Underneath that you have A, B, or C groupings to set. It's got a locking wheel, quarter 20 thread on the underside. One nice feature that I like about it is it has a signal pass through to the hot shoe on the top. It's not a TTL pass through, but you can set your flash on top of it, put that over onto your camera, and then when you turn everything on and you fire, it'll have manual control for a fill light on the front and then you can control however many other studio strobes you have just by adding more transceivers to them. All in all, I think it's a fantastic transceiver. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, they're retailing for about 130 right now, I believe. There might be some other deals out there online. Um, it is the iShoot Sniper Transceiver from photoloving.com and I really recommend you check them out.